apps the most important part of a modern smartphone but at the same time you visit play store you see tons of apps and get confused which one to download here are six apps that i think you should give a try hi guys this is azim sheikh from skies of tech and let's get started first we have an app called go art it's a great photo editing app in which you can give some dramatic effect to your images you can select your image from the album and uh, at the bottom you can see different types of filters available it's just like prisma only but uh, the image quality of this app is quite good suppose we select this uh, this filter and you can see a window in which you can have different quotes from different artists and it's quite good integration to the app it's a different from other applications available at the play store and once the effect took place you can just control the effect on your image by just swapping from right to left or left to right you can see the effect taking place on the display once you're done with your effect you can just share it with your friends by tapping at the right top of the corner with on facebook wechat Twitter, wherever you want to share it and if you just want to save it to your gallery you can just tap on the back of the left side of the screen and you can save it to your gallery it's quite good app it's uh, it has some uh, great features and it's quite different from other apps available on in the market next we have an app called say it it's a screen reading application which you can use for making your screen read the contents available uh, or the contents that you are reading on the screen this app will read any of the content available on your display suppose uh, i just select uh, and uh, paragraph from here as you can see and i'll just uh, share it to say it and uh, it'll start it will start reading it what is this book about rich dad poor dad is a book by robert kiyosaki it advocates financial independence and building wealth through investing, real estate investing, starting and owning businesses, as well as increasing one's financial intelligence. Rich Dad Poor Dad PDF is written in the, the style of a set of parables. It. It's quite good app. Uh, it to read anything from your screen. You just uh, need to you just need to share it to the site. Next, we have an app called uh, uh, Screenshot. Screenshot Utility. It's a great app for playing with your screenshots. Suppose I select this image and uh, I want to edit something and I, I want to say that this is my first tripod. I'll just click on this edit button and I'll draw over it. Let's see like this. And I just want to show what it is. So I'll make an arrow and I'll just click on this right button and then I'll select a text where I can type this is my first tripod and I can just place it wherever I want I can also increase the size of the text and once I'm done and I can save it to my gallery it will just save to my gallery it's quite good app for playing with your screenshots and if you want to show and or you if you want to highlight something in your screenshot next we have an app called snapseed it's a Google's app for photo editing and uh, I know there are lots of other apps available for photo editing but I found this one to be really good in terms of effects and options that this app provide us. Suppose I select this image and I tap on the edit button and you can see there are lots of tools available to edit your pictures like tune image, details, rotate, white balance, selective, brush etc and if you want to add filters there are other filters there are filters available also you can select n number of you can select n number of options available over here like lens blur glamour glow grainy film vintage frames etc you can do anything suppose i just tap on lens blur and if i just uh, select this part of an image and uh, the rest of the part the image will get blurred from uh, the image will remain focused in on that part only where you just uh, selected and other all other parts will get blurred and uh, like this we have different types of uh, options available in the filter and you can also have text in different styles like you can see there are different types of styles available in the app itself only so it's quite good app for photo editing next up we have an app called uh, tap it it's a wallpaper app which you can use to have a different types of wallpaper on your screen. 
it's a really a good app it has different types of different i i mean it it has n number of patterns available for your daily uh, new looking screen you can just tap over here you can click on settings and from options you can select uh, at what interval you want your wallpapers to get changed there are difference from uh, one minute to weekly i just selected on one minute because i just i just want that i need new wallpaper whenever i turn on my screen and uh, as you can see there are lots of customization list limit you can select slideshow interval mean, means uh, how much time it should take to change and wallpaper when you take an action and there are effects also there are share and saving there are lots of customization available in the app and once you have done once as suppose i just want to uh, use this wallpaper i'll just click on write and it will take some time and yeah we have it suppose if i don't like this color i'll just tap on this color button and the color will get changed and if i don't want this pattern on this color i can also change the pattern and suppose if you are using this app for a long time and the patterns are repeating again and again you can just randomize and the pattern order will get changed it's quite good app for the person who don't want a boring single wallpaper all the day for 7 days in a week next we have an app called wallet it's also a wallpaper app but this one is unique i mean it this one is unique we have lots of lots of wallpaper available and uh, these wallpapers are not clicked or you can say this wallpapers are not clicked from the camera the wallpapers are drawn or wallpapers are made from the artist available on this app from the community and believe me the they have really a great collection of wallpapers i use this app personally i use tapet and this one for my wallpapers and for my you know background papers uh, lock screen uh, etc as you can see there are lots of lots of lots of uh, wallpapers are available once you want you can just tap any one of them you can just download it and uh, once you select on download it shows whether you want it for a tablet that is a square screen or you want for your smartphone that is a rectangular as it's showing best fit for your devices but as my devices has a rectangular form i can just select it i'll just download it and the download animation is also quite good the overall interface and the overall you can say the app i i love it i i just love it and uh, once i just click i just visit to my profile i just visit to the downloads that i have and uh, by refreshing this we have i have the wallpapers that i just downloaded and uh, let's say just select this one and uh, set as wallpaper as you can see it's quite good it's really a good app to play with and these are the six app you should have uh, you should start your new year with thanks for watching this video guys this is azim sheik from skysoft tech and pl please do like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and uh, i'm also going to uh, post a new video uh, telling you telling you that uh, what all games you should have in 2017 so thanks for watching this video guys this is azim sheik from skysoft tech signing out thank you